She's half Spanish, half Filipino, from Calamba Laguna. I grew up there till 19 years old and then moved to Italy, where she met my dad, and then I was born. Embrace what makes you unique. Know what it is that you personally offer. I need to know more. I need to learn more. It's a growing thing. If you know more, then it's, it's great. You know, it's your advantage. Don't ever have anybody telling you who to be, how to become, what to do. I believe that when your intentions are really pure, all the more that the universe conspires to help you fulfill your dreams. The best way to learn about culture is through food. Once you unlock the flavors of the Philippines, arts, music comes after. Ambra is my given name. Uh, Batilana is my last name, Gutierrez as well, from my mom. And Ambra Batilana Gutierrez. <laughs> I wanted to do something that was completely different from what I was. I wanted to challenge myself, so I studied surveyor, even if I like to do makeup and, you know, like, this very girly stuff. I graduated at 19 years old as a surveyor, and then from there I moved to London. From London I started my modeling career, and then I started moving to Paris, and then here in the U.S. A couple of years ago, I decided also to go and live a little bit in the Philippines. So I spent two beautiful years in there. Yeah, modeling, like understanding more about the culture and all. I grew up mostly with my mom, so she always been like making cooking rice and Filipino dishes. She never thought me Tagalog. She never really put me into like, you know, like eat this, do this. So she, I was curious. I've always been curious. I always wanted to learn things. And so like the Filipino culture is part of me and that's something that I said, okay. It's me, I need to know myself. And that was why I moved to the Philippines, even myself, by myself. Um, because my mom always told me like, no, why you have to go there, or things like that, you know? Because of course a mother never wants to have their children to go, but like my, my wants, like the, the needs to know my roots and know what was, you know, like the Philippines led me to go there. I felt that the Filipinos were more close to my way of being than the Italians, uh, more, like close together, more family, you know, everybody calls Tita Tito or Ate Cuya. So I love that, you know, like you feel like you can have a family anywhere you go. Like you build up a family. Like my mom has so many like sisters in the Philippines, in Italy that, you know, like nobody's related, but everybody's like, oh, Ate, oh, Unso Ate. So <laughs> it's nice. I finished the first season of a podcast that is called In Our Words. Hopefully I will continue it as well because I really love to do this. It's about talking to people that went through difficult situation in life and so sharing their experiences to probably help others. So that's something I really love to do because I always like felt that everything bad that happened to you, it's for a reason. Like you should go through it and always believe there is a way out and it's gonna be a happy ending on it. In the fashion industry, everybody is whatever they want to, like they see you as who you are, like whatever you want to be and like there is a freedom of, you know, not really talking to you as an Italian or a Filipino or whatever. You are the person that you decide to be in who you want to, yeah. I found my, my place. It actually filled me up with a lot of knowledge on different things that I've learned from traveling, from working with people that are in the profession, artists. And so that's why I love this job and I wanted to hopefully keep doing it as much as I can. Find and follow always what you like. Be yourself, always. Don't ever have anybody telling you who to be, how to become, what to do. Hi, my name is Ambra and I'm very proud to be Filipino-Italian.